Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about maximizing profits for Ergo Mining using BZ Miner to Dual Mine. Before we start, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, and this is Cruxpool. On Cruxpool, you can mine Bitcoin, Ethereum Classic, Flux, Ravencoin, ETHW, Ergo, which will be shown in this video. And when mining Ergo on Cruxpool, there is a threshold of 1 to 100 Ergo. The system for shares is PPS Plus, so that means actual value for the fees and expected value for the shares. And the fee for using Cruxpool on Ergo is 1%. And it also has Beam and Firo mining options. It's easy to use for both beginners and professionals. One of the best features is the mining dashboard, which once you have signed up for an account, you can view all your different miners and their hash rates for different coins. We'll be using Cruxpool for the Ergo mining part of this video. So if you want to start using Cruxpool, use my first link in the description. It just monitors traffic for me. So click that in the first link in the description for Cruxpool. So for maximizing Ergo profits, we can actually see here a list of top revenue coins. Nexa is at the top, but Ergo plus Radiant is in second place. I like Nexa as a crypto, but the mining tends to get my cards very hot. But Ergo and Radiant have very cool running algorithms, so it's perfect for mining and the revenue is high right now because of the Radiant coin price. If we look at the Ergo hash rate, we can see the hash rate spike from the Ethereum merge and then it settled down and this means that the yield and difficulty is down right now. So you can stack more Ergo and Radiant for the next bull run. The reason we are using Radiant is because it's very profitable right now, but we'll get into that later on in the video. And Ergo is a plus after the fact for more revenue. You can also swap out or change the coin from Radiant to Elysium, Casper or ETHW. It just depends on which one you really want, but Radiant is the highest profitability matched with Ergo. So today we're going to be using BZ Miner because it's one of the best miners for dual mining. It allows you to actually dual mine any pairs of coins. Now there is optimized pairs here and the list is right here. We have a couple of Ergo pairs, a couple of Octo pairs. If we look at the bottom here, we have optimization for Ergo and Radiant on Nvidia cards. This doesn't mean that you can't mine for AMD cards, it just means that Ergo and Radiant have been optimized for NVIDIA cards. Now I'm going to show you just how to set up the batch file here. So BZ Miner already has one pre-made, so we can right click and edit this file and it's going to run us through real quickly. So here is the two algorithms Ergo and Radiant, we have Ergo at the start and then Radiant as the second option. Now we need to put our address in here and for our pool for Ergo, obviously we'll be using today's sponsor, Cruxpool. And the good thing here is that when you make an account on Cruxpool, you can actually just put your username instead of your wallet address for any of the coins that you are mining. So instead of your Flux or Ravencoin address, you can just put your username in here. It's after a quick sign up, we'll see here my username is Sterling Spec. So we just put that instead of the wallet address and it will assign it to that account. And then we can actually go from there and I'll show you how to configure the payments later on in the video. Then we can put our Stratum and Port, which is here. Now mine's in Europe, but you can also use the worldwide one. If you don't really know where the best stratum is for you, it will find it for you as the best latency to that node. So that's how to set up the Ergo side. Now we have the Ergo portion done. Let's go through the Radiant side. So you just input your address here and I'll leave links to both the Ergo and Radiant wallets in the description below so you can get a wallet address for both. We need a pool for Radiant as well. So we'll use Viper.net just to spread the hash rate out a bit. This last part of the batch file is to help with dual mining and it will test your GPUs for a couple minutes to find out the best ratio between Radiant and Ergo mining. Now we just double click the file and start it up and add overclocks in an overclocker, normally just up the cores and fans for dual mining. There's not really many things you can do in terms of the memory, just because there's so much going on your GPU, so you're going to have a lot of things going on, so just up the power and the fans just to make sure it doesn't overheat. As we can see here, we have shares for both Radiant and Ergo with a lot of free RAM still. This kind of means that we have the possibility to add another coin in there, such as Zill. But on hash rate, I know I don't think it displays triple mining for the revenues. So you could add Zill in there and it would be mining for around two minutes. And that's more revenue for us miners in this bear market. So once the mine has been on for a while, you can actually see here in the Crux Pool dashboard, we have our account at the top. So as I said, you can put your account name in instead of your wallet address and it will assign it to here. I mined this uh, quite a while ago. I'm just making the video after the fact because I can't record and also mine at the same time because it will shut off my OBS. I don't know what it is wrong with it, but it will just shut it off. So here we have the workers. So you have ETH, Ravencoin, ETH Classic, 
ETHW, Fero, Flux, Bitcoin, and Beam. So you can click on your statistics for each one of them here. You can see the shares that we've got on the actual network. And then for earnings, you can click here and it will show you how much you've actually got from the pool. Now to get payouts from now to get payouts from Crux Pool, you click on settings and the payouts tab here. And then you can just input different addresses for whichever coin you are using. So here is my Ergo address. So I want it paid out to this address. You can add a wallet for any of these. So you can add, for example, Ravencoin. You add your wallet there and then set a minimum payment threshold. So it's very easy to set up and it kind of consolidates everything into one platform so that you can just mine straight into there using your username instead of going around and putting in your wallet addresses for different things. And as you can see on ViperNet as well, we've got our hash rate clocked in there. So when we actually look at the hash rate NO, I know that people are saying, well, why would you mine Ergo as well? It's just because Ergo is like the secondary coin, which you can just trade out in terms of you could trade it for Casper coin. You can trade it for any coin that you really like. Normally, what you would want to do is trade it out for Bitcoin or something stable, or at least more stable than Ergo's price. If we look down here, if you were to mine Ergo normally, just because it's so low in wattage, we have Ergo only bringing in like profits of six cents. But for some reason, as soon as you start dual mining it, the Radiant Network gives you good profits and it gives you a little more Ergo just because your actual GPU is overclocked to dual mine right now. So it pays out very good on both hash rates and efficiency. And it's 350 watts of power. I know that's a lot, but the profits are really good and the revenue is really good. It depends really what you're doing in terms of are you mining for yield or are you mining for profits? If you're mining for profits, there's not really many coins out there. But if you're mining for yield, which a lot of us are doing in this bear market, Ergo and Radiant is one of the best kind of dual pairs that we can go for. You could also go Ergo Alethium. It just doesn't show this on hash rate NO but that will give you good revenues as well. So when we look at the Radiant price, this is the reason that we're using Radiant, just because its price is skyrocketing. And it did have a kind of peak back then. And if you go on the year chart, we can see the actual big peak that it had. However, it's starting to actually tick up with all the other cryptocurrencies that are GPU or at least proof of work that are taking off right now. If you've seen the market, you know, it's going all the way up and it doesn't really look like it's stopping. So a lot of these coins are becoming way more profitable to mine. And Ergo is just one of those stable algorithms which you can add on top and it will give you a little bit more profits. Also, I want to mention the Ergo storage rent feature. So Cruxpool have said that they will be maybe implementing this in the pipeline for the storage rent feature of Ergo. It's basically a feature that allows you to gain a fee from mining old Ergo boxes. So basically, if you haven't been active on your box, then it will allocate that box over to miners and then they get to keep everything including tokens and nfts in the ergo box so it's kind of a way to clean up the network and make sure that nothing is very inactive on the network and not taking up too much space so normally it's not going to be that much but if you have but if you do hit a box that has a lot then you know you could make a nice profit from that on top of mining ergo and radiant but it hasn't come through on crux pool yet but they have it in the pipeline so that could be coming soon as well. Lastly, if we go on our watch list here, you can actually see that a lot of these power coins are up in the last 30 days. If we click on 30 days here, we can see Kyla coin, Dynex, all of these. But the difficulty has spiked on a lot of these coins. So this is why it's not viable to dual mine right now. Radiant hasn't spiked this difficulty as much. So this is why we're using Radiant versus any of these other coins that you could dual mine with. I know you could dual mine with Dynex, but there's a little bit of interference between the two miners if you tried to dual mine it. So it's very hard to set that up. And Ergo right here is actually down 8.11%. So the price on it isn't really going up. It's kind of leveling out, which you wouldn't expect to see because of how much money is in the market right now. You know, we've seen Casper and all these other new proof of work coins going up but it seems like the old ones like ergo flux conflux bitcoin aren't really going up as much as all of these ones as you can see all in the green here so that's it for the video if you have any problems please leave them in the comments below or join the discord and ask me in there the link for that is in the description don't forget to use my crux pool link to actually go on to crux pool i don't really know if there's any benefits for me it just is to monitor traffic i believe 
So make sure that you click on that link and go over to Crux Pool. And I'll see you in the next video.